Hello my friends, I hope you're all doing great. I wanted to talk to you today about the country where I was born. Uh, I was born in a country named Denmark, some of you may remember that. It's kind of far away, it takes about seven to eight hours to get there on an airplane. You have to go to the airport and get on an airplane and be on the airplane for a long time. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple things from Denmark. So you probably all know this. This is the American flag, and that's the flag that we see on many flagpoles when we go outside. Maybe you have one hanging outside your house. This is the Danish flag. That's what we hang outside on flagpoles in Denmark. So this is the difference between the two flags. They both have the red and the white, but the American flag also has blue with lots of stars. Another thing uh, from Denmark that I think you might recognize is a man named Hans Christian Andersen. He wrote lots and lots of stories, and he was from Denmark too. He was born a long time ago, uh, but his stories we still enjoy. Uh, he wrote stories such as uh, The Little Mermaid, The Princess and the Pea, and uh, The Ugly Duckling. This book I have is actually in Danish, so if I read it to you, probably wouldn't understand, but maybe another time I will read you a story in English by Hans Christian Andersen. But this is this is one this is a book full of his fairy tales. And another thing uh, that is actually was invented in Denmark came from Denmark is something I bet many of you have at your house. It is this. Do you recognize the sound? It's Legos. Legos were invented in Denmark. And um, there are lots of different kinds. This is for from my son when he was a little boy. Now he's much older, but he has lots of Legos. He has the small size Legos too. He has built lots and lots of those. But Lego, yeah. Is from Denmark as well. There is a um, an amusement park where you can go and have lots of fun. That's in Denmark, and um, most things are built out of Lego there. So you go and you have fun on rides. They're built out of Legos. You can even drive a car made out of Legos. I, when I was a little girl, got my first driver's license in Legoland, and that was very exciting and lots of fun. I also want to sing you a song. Um, First, I'm going to send, sing it in English because I know you know this song, and then I'll sing it to you in Danish so you know what it sounds like in a different language. So you can sing along with me if you know the song. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Itsy bitsy spider went up the spot again. And here is the song in Danish. Lille Peter is a cup, covered up and moon on. So come rain and a skull Peter bought. Up come soul and a tur Peter's cup. Oh, Lille Peter is a cup, covered at the up. That's how it goes in Danish. So now you've learned, or heard at least, um, a song in Danish as well. And I'll give you one more thing uh, in Danish. I'll give you a, a, a teacher Danish word. If you want to say thank you, I say thank you, Miss Davis, in Danish, you say tak, Miss Davis. Tak means thank you in Danish. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today about Denmark. And I look forward to uh, reading your story from Hans Christian Andersen's Book of Fairy Tales next time. See you then. Bye.